Hi guys, uh, it's Pete Redman, uh, Chef Director for Bartlett Mitchell. Um, happy to be supporting the Food Service Circle uh, in any way we can. Um, I know there's been some great videos this week, not just from, from Bartlett Mitchell uh, team members, but from, from the whole industry as well. It's a, it's a real fantastic thing to see everyone just pulling together for, for this great cause. Um, this is an amazing industry. I love everything about this industry. Uh, I'm devastated to my core about what's happening in it right now, but I think, I try and be positive about everything. I think sometimes uh, these bad situations will breed opportunity. And this opportunity might be, you know, maybe you're gonna get a chance to go for a job that you wouldn't uh, had a chance to go for before or been motivated to go for it before. Um, and one thing for me about when you're trying these new things and if you're unfortunately out of work or just looking for a change uh, is, is about your, your, your introduction. So you get one chance to make the first impression. I've always said that. Um, and the first, first chance you get is your CV. So what does your CV look like? You know, for me, and I'll just give you my experience of the things that I would look for in anyone's CV. Um, it has to be nicely laid out, clear, concise, uh, have your, your name, your details, your mission statement, really, really bold and really punchy. You know, tell me, tell me who you are. Convince me of what you, what you believe in just a, a few short sentences. And then it's just bullet points about your relevant experience. But again, not too much. Like, I don't want to dig through that to see the relevant information. It should be, should be there for me to see. I've achieved this. Our GP was this. I am most proud of this. You know, all these things about team development, financial management, kitchen management, things you learn, mistakes you made, and what you got out of them. Make it really kind of clear. Um, and then your achievements down the bottom. And that's it. Don't go too far back. Don't, you know, high level kind of overview stuff. Not, not the minutia. We don't. It's those details that we don't. We don't need. Well, it's going to make you stand out. I know my colleague Lynn has, has much mentioned that as well about how you stand out uh, in this crowd, and that's and that's one of the ways. Um, now, your interview could be on on screen like this. It could be face to face. Uh, a thing that I, I highly recommend, right, is is to practice. I've learned this. Um, it's different in some ways being a chef, being a chef and then doing these these kind of situations. You know, like I said I. I struggled with it massively, but I just take the approach that we take toward food and put it into a different environment. So I know if I'm coming into a kitchen to cook a dish or do something I've never done before, I've cooked it 10 times in my head before we got there. I know what could go wrong. I know potential pitfalls. I've seen it. It's in, it's in my mind. So there's no surprises. And I think it should be the same in an interview. So practice, practice, practice. Have, write down questions. Give yourself that kind of dry run. Film yourself answering it. Get an amazing friend to help you out. You know, I trust my colleagues more than anyone. And they give me the honest feedback. And from that honest feedback, I can make adjustments to try and do the best job I can. And it's no different for anyone else. You know, if you film it, send it to a friend. What do you think? Did I answer that question properly? Didn't I? Um, so I think that's great. And then the next bit is if you get to a trade test, be organized, show the organization. So. You've got to be work slightly different in this new environment. But show that you have that. Show that you're thinking about your sanitizer. You're thinking about your J cloths, your wipes, your gloves, your mask. You brought your own gloves just in case. You brought your mask just in case. All these things. You're filling out declarations. You're asking about declarations. Is there a paperwork I need to fill out before I get on site? Is there a one way system? Is whatever that shows that you're thinking about it. That it shows that it's in your mind. Uh, those are the things I'm looking for, without a doubt. Clear CV, passion. Talk to me about, about the ingredients that you use. Talk to me about summer holidays. Talk to me about how this influenced you and influenced the team member. What impact you had on other people's lives. You know, what the sourcing of the product. Why you like this over this. But get that across. Organize yourself in your trade test really, really well. Uh, make sure it's all laid out and everything's clear. Uh, and then it's just down to cooking, right? And that's, that's, that's the fun bit. Right? That, that's always the easy bit, you know? Cooking food and giving people that that uh, wonderful bit of hospitality is just what comes naturally to us. So that's my advice. I wish everyone the best of luck. I truly mean that. Um, and if there's anything else that myself or any of my colleagues at Bartlett Mitchell can do, please just get in touch. Cheers.